What's happening guys? Last week you saw my dad and I installing this four post lift in the shop. Well, today I'm gonna be installing a custom set of LED lights so that I can see everything that I'm doing when I'm working up under the car. So even though it's super bright in my shop, I've got good lights, it's kind of dark underneath the car. And I'm just hoping to get that brighter. Because if I'm working up here in the suspension stuff, it's nice and glossy off the headers, but it's kind of hard to see anything else. Especially if you're working up high. So that's what I want to see. I hope to be able to see really nicely bright up there, up in that area. So full disclosure here, guys, this isn't my idea. I saw some other videos on YouTube and I'm borrowing some of those concepts. I am tweaking some of the things to make some improvements on what I saw earlier. I'll show you some of the stuff that I've got in case you want to copy my recipe here. The first thing, you guys have all seen these LED light strips. Now this isn't rope light, these are specific LED light strips. This is your basic eBay purchase comes with a power cord, but it's your basic LED light strip. So that's the first thing. These are basically designed for under cabinet lights. These ones are, I think, are in 18 or 16 feet rolls, so I got two of these. So for these, you can actually cut these strips wherever you need to make them custom lengths, which is nice. So the next thing that I got is these 45 degree aluminum channels that were originally designed for under cabinet lights. I hadn't seen anybody use these specific pieces before, but I bought a couple of them, and my idea is I'm gonna fit them up into, into the rails so that the light shines up at a 45 degree from both sides, therefore eliminating any kind of shadows. Um, and also it's gonna protect it because it's got this little plastic cover. So this piece, I'm basically gonna put it on the bottom, flush up against that corner. I've already measured, I've got enough width so it's not gonna interfere with any of the uh, sliding jacks or any of the drip trades or any of that kind of stuff. This also has a clear plastic cover that's gonna go over it. It's gonna protect the actual LEDs that are gonna be uh, stuck down with that double-sided adhesive right into that 45 degree channel, but it's gonna keep anything that would otherwise fall and smash, tools, oil, antifreeze, anything that happens to get on it, it'll keep those LEDs protected. I'm gonna do the entire perimeter of the, the channel so that its light is always shining up into the corner. So we'll see how it goes, but I think this is gonna be the key to the, the success of this. I'm hoping it is, I'm hoping it is anyway. We'll see. So it's gonna fit right in the bottom corner of this channel. It's gonna be just perfect clearance. Bridge jack and all the other things are gonna fit perfectly. Uh, they'll slide right over top of it and never even know it's there. I'm gonna run all of the power cables down on that end of the, on that corner down there, so that should work out perfectly. This is the ramp that I'm going to be uh, putting this channel on. So here's that piece of channel. And I want it to kind of come up here at a 45 so it shines up perfectly. So this is gonna fit there and I've already checked the clearance. Instead of drilling into this ramp, I decided against that. I don't wanna drill into this ramp and um, even though there'd be just a couple of small holes, I didn't want any reason to, uh, to make it less rigid. So I got this uh, double-sided, super heavy-duty um, adhesive Velcro, and I'm just gonna put it up against this edge. It's gonna hold it perfectly. There's not gonna be a lot of force that's gonna be trying to rip these lights out because it's on this little shelf. So it should hold just perfect. So I'm just gonna peel this stuff off here. Peel that one off peel this one off. I got the other side done already, so it should be pretty straightforward. And then I already have both sides on there. So literally I'm going to line this up so that it's flush on this end here. And then I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to set this guy back there, double sided tape now. Push that up against the edge. And then I'm going to push this up against it flush. And that isn't going to go anywhere. Literally perfect. So here's the center uh, section underneath the car, about in the middle. I'm gonna set this inside so it's gonna overlap. It'll, it'll cover that joint. Again, this isn't really critical. There's not gonna be much um, pressure trying to take these off, so it should be pretty straightforward. Let's pull this guy off here. flat. There we go. Push it up against there. And that is not going anywhere. 
see if I can grab my other channel here. And this one's gonna go just the same way up against there. Perfect. There you go, there we have it. Now we're just gonna do the front and it should be ready to rock. So here's the very last section we're doing. And then I'll do these cross pieces here. So that looks really good. That side, I got the whole other side done here. But that should do the trick. I'll cut this piece so I, that I have a piece that works perfectly on both ends. That'll bridge the gap. And again, this will make 360 degree LED lights all the way around. This should be perfect. Awesome, so I got the rest of the channels stuck down and now it's literally going to be a matter of peeling and sticking this uh, LED light as I go around. So here we go, let's see how this works. I'm just gonna literally stick it right in the middle here. Just a matter of peeling and sticking just like that, all the way around. That should do the trick. See what that looks like when I get it done, all the way around. So there you guys go, done. Lights are in. The only thing I have left to do is put the little plastic covers on them, which are clear, so it's not gonna change the light at all, but it's just gonna keep those LEDs protected. But man, it literally lights up the entire bottom side of this car. This is perfect. I'm not going to be having to drag a drop light around and plug stuff in. I literally flip the lights on, flip the switch. It's already plugged in. I'm going to mount it to the ceiling so it's out of the way. No cords dangling and just have instant light when I need it. This is going to be awesome. I'm so stoked. This is a really nice upgrade for this four post lift. like that if you like this video subscribe to our channel and you can get more you get more of them say say if you've got an appetite for more car videos okay subscribe to the channel okay if you like that and you just can't get enough stuff about cars and want more videos subscribe to our channel and, and you'll get more and you'll be entertained endlessly and you'll learn a bunch